morning and welcome to another studio vlog. Uh, this is actually week nine because week eight I was not here. I was um, looking after kids. I was doing that parenting thing, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, so today I have lots more guinea pigs to print. So I've got mugs and coasters to do. I've also got some Santa mats to do, which is really exciting. So I will show you that. Um, I've also got to um, sort out my printers because I've had quite a shuffle around. So I will show you um, what, what I've done with this uh, area over here. As you might notice, I don't have a big thing behind me. I did have a printer up on the table, um, but I had to get another printer and um, I'll explain that in a bit. Um, so I need to sort out my printer drivers for that. Um, yesterday was an inset day, so it's Tuesday today. So um, I came in yesterday and had a good tidy up, but it's not, you know, I haven't actually managed to do much work, which is really annoying. So uh, we'll see how today goes. So what I might do is put you up on a tripod and you can just watch me going... <laughs> see you in a bit. Yeah, I really am a Muppet with a fluffy hat on. Um, I worked really hard this morning and absolutely crashed this afternoon. I think because I've had a week off, it's amazing how out of um, out of the routine you get with managing your fibro and things. And um, I, had, <laughs> I had worked really hard and then I got to about lunchtime and I'm suddenly like, like that, like hit a brick wall. And so I've just had to sleep for two hours. Oh, it's about quarter past four. It's starting to get dark outside. And it is getting a bit chilly anyway. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you ever find this and you have a nap. And it's like, you're so cold when you wake up. So uh, the heating's gone on. Woolly hat. I'll warm up soon. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you um, a couple of things. And guess what I just realised? <laughs> I did all those mugs earlier. I left one on the side after packing the box up. And now I've got to unpack the box up and put that mug in. I'll show you because it's so funny. Hang on a bit, I'll turn you around. Look at that poor little box. <laughs> it's that one little mug. Now it has to be um, put in that box. I really should say I have the mental capacity to deal with putting that in the box, but I must do it because I want to get that out today. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to show you was this. Can I zoom you out a bit? Let's hand it up there. I've done a Santa uh, mat uh, for my kids. I did this um, illustration a couple of weeks back. I was thinking about like those Santa plates and stuff and I don't really I don't really like the idea of, of plates. I'm thinking that you know they, they could break quite easily and things like that. But I did kind of like the idea that there's a, a little tradition for kids to do. So I did this illustration and there's wherever it is. There's a little nativity there, and then I've got some little characters. That little sheep and camel. I try to think of things that were festive. I probably missed loads. Plate of sprouts. Love sprouts. Um, I'm not sure that would be most people's ideal thing on a placemat, especially kids, but you know, whatever. Uh, shepherd and his sheep. Profiteroles. They are one of my favourite Christmas things. Um, well, any time thing, really. Some oranges, nutcracker. And I oh, went back to the nativity. And I tried to do some festive plants and greenery in the corners. So I'm going to add this to my website. It's on a placemat, but it's narrower. Um, yeah, it's narrower than the standard placemats. I quite like the size, actually, I have to admit. I think it works. it's about 20, um, 20 something centimeters across rather than 28. I think it's 22. Or 23 something like that um, but I'd love to hear what you think um, so yeah so I've done that today as well um, so I've also managed to get my new laser printer 
um, up and running. Um, I've only had a go at printing one thing so far, but the quality, unfortunately I've got a low res Im image, so it's not working very well at the minute, but the actual quality of the print, I'm really impressed with. So I can't wait to see what else it can do and try out thicker card as well. So that'll be a fun experiment. Um, and I think that's about all the, ex it really has just been non-stop today. So I'm probably going to say bye for today and hopefully see you tomorrow. So. <laughs> Good morning. I feel a cold. Um, it's been an exhausting morning already. Um, Six-year-old having lots of temper tantrums and it just sort of completely drained me. I find quite often I, I keep things all together and you keep plodding along and then as soon as um, the sort of stress has gone then I find I start getting the flare up and stuff so I've had to have a lie down already. It's quarter to ten um, and I've just got to sort out some images for Becky from Bumblebee um, for her supplier and then I want to attack some stickers today and some greeting cards sorry these are back to front I had a go on my laser printer yesterday printing up one of my sticker packs it's come up quite dark but super shiny it's really really nice the and also the other problem is I don't know if you can see I may not zoom don't know um, there are black speckles all around here so that obviously wasn't a wasn't very good and also the background has come up a sort of pinky colour but I can't remember if I actually put pink there in the first place so it's looking slightly um, it's not as crisp as I would have liked so I'm going to play around with that today um, I'm also working on some Christmas cards so um, using the laser printer again so this is for a lovely company called Swoopsie um, so um, I've had to experiment quite a lot with this image yesterday because it was getting again you probably can't can't see I might be able to do it if I do the camera the other way um, but there's lots of um, fuzziness around the edge so we've played around with the image resolution and managed to get it all right so that's another thing I need to do today um, I also need to print lots more guinea pig mugs this time with a um, guinea pig logo on um so yeah i think that's about well that's some of what i've got to do today so i better get on with it i just wanted to show you how i make my notebooks when i get my notebook blanks they come like this so i've got the um it's already been wire bound you've got the um insert bit and then you have the cover separately um the problem with these particular covers, because they're card and quite thin, they, they sort of bow, but you'll see that in a minute. So I have to put them in another press to try and flatten them a bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, show you how I print the covers. So the cover has like, um, sort of like a fabric effect, um, which is quite nice, but you have to think in reverse. So the front page is gonna be like this, Oh, I'll show it your way so that the binding is on the um, left hand side but this of course is the wrong way around so I need to line it up so it's actually on the right hand side and then using my heat tape like still it's then ready to go into the press. So I'm just gonna do the other four sheets because I actually have, make sure I get it the right way around. I have two books to make today. There we go. So it's one, and I just need to take this one out. So remembering which way it's going again, 
I'm going to put that in place. When I do the printing, I always print an area slightly larger than my uh, than the area that I'm printing on. Sorry, I've got a blippy thing going on. No idea why it's blipping either. I accidentally set the timer. There's another one. And then the last one, make sure it's the right way around. There we go. Right, so I'll take you to the press and we will print those. So, um, we've got the temperature at the top can't quite see it and it's 180 degrees and I'm going to be doing it for 90 seconds I just want to check how um, there you go it was a little bit low which means that it would have squashed the notebook even more so what I'm going to do is put a piece of grease proof down so I'm going to put one of the um, covers inside sublimation paper up and then I'm going to put this piece of Teflon sheet in here. Sometimes if I find I'm using a lot of Teflon, it can get slightly um, damp inside. So that's gonna go for 90 seconds, and then I'll show you the result. Okay, so it's finished. Let's have a little look and see how it's come out. So the heat makes the paper curl slightly and as you can see the board has bowed so I'm going to have to go put that in a different press just to keep it flat but I have the illustrated by Becky Mason on the bottom so I just need to go put this in the press right so now it's time to put the, the next one in I could very easily put several in if I wanted to at a time, but I really don't like trying to rush these things too much because it's only a small bed for press that is this bit here. The surface area is very large, so I don't like to put two in just in case. Um, I have a mug going on in the second in the second press as an experiment and I also have some tins to do but the setting will be slightly different so I'm going to do these first and then I'll show you how I put them together all right I'm solving a bit of chaos today um, because I've got lots going on I've got some I'm really sorry it's so dark it's um it's a real wintry day I've got some cards that I'm making here for sunshine stitches and if I show you here they are and they've got this little kind of tiny cutout which you can see through um, these are the, my custom cut cards and oh and they've also got stitching or stitching effect at the bottom yeah you focused um, these are 60 cards for 12 pounds these ones so it's busy working its way through there I've also so it really is just chaos everywhere. I've also got some mugs printing here. Um, I'm on my last mug. There are 21 mugs to do. And that's just about to come out. Um, and then I've got tins. See down here I've got tins to do. But I might have to do those tomorrow. So I'm just going to work on some tins. When I get the tins I get the lids separately. Because I can't print the... Um, I wouldn't be able to get the pressure right if I put the other lid in. So on each turn, I don't know if you can see, if you're not focused, is it focusing? There's a protective film over the top. Sorry about the state of my fingers. So you need to peel off the protective film. Like seal. So. Then you have your image and you put it over the top and what I do is I I look at it through the, the reverse side 
and usually hold it up to the window just to make sure I'm completely central and then I tape it down so that looks about right check it again just in case it's slipped and secure it and I'm going to do that to another one because I can put two in at a time here and then I will show you how well they come out at the end so this bit is aluminium and it's got that special coating on again that turns to gas when the um, when it gets heated and then the ink you've probably heard me say this before the ink turns sort of gets infused with the gas or something there's probably a far better way of saying it all right just need to double check it lovely right so i'm going to take you over to the press now here we go so i'm going to lay them both down up a little bit like so I'm going to put in a teflon sheet push the tray in push it down and press start so the temperature is 180 for these little round tins and it's going to be on for 60 seconds so I will forward it quickly otherwise you're going to be looking at numbers just like I am Right, so I'm putting a glove on. This is a heat glove. It's, actually, it's a barbecue glove, but it is brilliant because the metal particularly gets very, very hot in here. I'm hoping you can still see. So we've got... Now, I try to take these off as carefully as I can because the last thing I want is for the tape to go back onto the tin lid because it makes a mark when it isn't dry it can make a mark so there's the there's the top so the next job is to let this cool down and then I can attach it to the tin so all printed so now I just need to put these on the tins
morning. Today is Friday and um, I've got... <coughs> Sorry. Um, I've got a bit of designing to do today. I've got a... I will show you this. I've got some teacher gifts to do. And I've got this really lovely pen pot holder. And I print on this section here. And then that goes in there. So that is for a teacher. And then for the teaching assistants, I've got these lovely pen boxes or pencil boxes. And they come with pencils. Um, I quite like the flatter ones. I do have squarer ones as well, which um, my girls have both had. But the flatter ones are rather nice. I think, um, I'm not sure what other pens you could fit in here. But uh, there's something quite nice about having a larger area to print on. So I've got those to do today as well. Um, I bought one of these from my wholesaler. Which um, is supposed to help you write addresses. So I thought I'd give that... I mean, I say write addresses. Um, it's like a sticky template type thing. <clears throat> so you can make your writing really neat, apparently. It's an address template from EK, to, um, EK Tools. So I will try that again later on and show you how that gets on. Probably terribly. Um, I What else have I got to do? Oh, I've got some bookmarks. Uh, packs of 10 there. I think there's 10 in there. I got to do some bookmarks for the beautiful uh, Jan from Janarelli Arts and Crafts. So these are going to have beautiful pictures on, so I need to print those as well today. Um, and I also am thinking that I might do a live um, event uh, where I actually make some jewellery live. I don't know whether to set it as an event thing or just do it randomly. And I thought that um, I could sort of not auction off, but give... Uh, people the opportunity to buy the finished piece at a reduced rate at the end. Um, I haven't quite worked that out in my head yet. I think it'll work, um, but I think I'm going to have to do it as an event type thing so that uh, people are warned rather than me going randomly on live. I did a live the other day and my camera was just spinning around and doing really bizarre things and uh, I just <laughs> I didn't let it stay on my page. I just deleted it because it was just like what on earth is that about? Um, I've got my daughter popping in later, and so um, I probably won't get a huge amount of filming done, at least not talking, chattering away. But um, hopefully I've got plenty of things for you to look at um, in this vlog. Last last week's, I don't know really what happened, you know, and I'm a bit worried it's going to be a bit the samey. So I do like to hear what you like and what you don't like, you know. Um, so we shall see. But anyway... I'm going to go and get on with the work. Bye! time for me to pack up today and sign off for another week but I just wanted to show you these gorgeous bookmarks that I've made today and I recently bought some tassels to go on them as well these are for um, Jan at Janarelli Arts and Crafts and she, this is all art that she has created and then she's scanned and now I put it on all sorts of merchandise for her so there's five different designs there and then this is the pencil boxes that I showed you earlier on and each design is slightly different and this is the um, box so that that section can come out there I mean, it probably could be glued in now because it's in place but uh, so those have to go out today as well so I'm just going to package those up and then it'll be time to go home and uh, plan what I'm going to do for next week so thank you for watching and um, I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and do pop on and say hi and come and visit me on my page as well at genesiscrafts.com. Um, that's Facebook, that is. Or you can follow me at, at Genesis Crafts on Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest. Well, thank you very, very much. Have fun. Bye.
Bye.